Northern Group removes APC vice presidential candidate Kashima Shetima as the patron over his decisive comments of Peter Obi being president only in Igbo land. Hello everyone, you welcome to the news. Coalition of Arewa Youths for Peace and National Development has removed vice presidential candidate of the All Progressive Congress, Kashim Shatima, as his patron over comments he made about Labour Party's presidential candidate, Peter Obi. Recall that Shatima had in an interview on Arise TV last weekend questioned the capacity and competence of the former governor of Anambra State to lead the country as president. The Northern Group pointed out that Shatima had in a derogatory tone, said that the LP flag bearer could best be a president in Igbo land, thereby attracting criticisms from thousands of the latter's supporters who identify themselves as obedient, amongst other well-meaning Nigerians. Shetima was quoted saying, the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Mr. Peter Obi, has no political base and structure to win the next election in 2023. As far as I'm concerned, it's politically structureless with little or no experience to lead this country. Presidential position is not for the unprepared, neither is it an all commerce affair. Peter Obi can only become a president in Igbo land, but definitely not in Nigeria. Nigeria is too big for him to handle. The coalition condemned the comments, describing it as provocative. The youth group called on Nigerians to reject politicians that promote bigotry and other tendencies that threaten peace and unity. They added that Shetima's attack on Obi smacked of perceived bigotry. The statement released by the group's national president, Alaji Muhammad Gwadabi, read, Considering the weight of the provocative, divisive and reckless statements made by our patron, Alaji Kasim Shetima, which is against the spirit of unity we stand for, and following consultations from members across the 19 states of northern Nigeria and approval from National Executive Council in our emergency congress held, we, by this statement, announced the immediate removal of the APC vice presidential candidate as our patron. We are ashamed to associate ourselves with someone of Shetima's standing, who, despite piloting the affairs of the native Bono state as governor. Oh, wow. Oh wow, things are really changing fast in Nigeria and honestly, it seems that it's came up for a lot of our old school politicians who have refused to respect them, themselves in the way they speak, in the way they conduct themselves and this is actually a coalition of the northern Nigeria. So it's not like a group from the south or a group from the west saying this against Yetima who is a core northerner as a former Bono State governor and senator. So with this now, will he able, be able to contend this to tell them no, he didn't mean it like that? As political leaders, we know that when it, you know, it's time for politicking like this, as we get ready for campaign for 2023 elections, politicians try to get charged up and they use some words. But one thing we have to give to another, um, the Peter Obi that was attacking was that Peter Obi would never use words, you know, to do any kind of damage to another candidate. We honestly do not need this. What we need in Nigeria are leaders who have their head right properly screwed to their neck and leaders who are ready to do the work and take us away from this same of the same of every four years of agony. It is high time we take charge of our country, take charge of our destiny, take charge of the remaining years of our life that we have to spend and especially take charge of the future of our children. Not leaders who are just flippant with their tongue, leaders who have no integrity, leaders who feel that they have the country in their pockets, not knowing that the rights they have to the country is the same rights the common Nigerian on the street has to the country. They're about making them accountable for the use of resources and the weight of governance in our dear country, Nigeria. What more do we say to this um, suspension of Kasim Shetima from the coalition of Northern Youth Group that has found these statements as highly divisive and derogatory, provocative, and whatever name they have decided to use for it. It's a new dawn in Nigeria, and the tide is moving for the discerning mind to know that it's not going to be business as usual. We need to take our destinies in our hands. 
We need to do the needful and any leader now will be held accountable to do what he or she is going to get to do. So if anybody is aspiring to lead in any part of Nigeria, either as the president or as the governor or as a senator, must be ready to get the scrutiny of the public, must be ready to get um, asked questions and to be properly critiqued to make sure that he or she is positioned there to do what he or she has constitutionally agreed to do. What's your opinion on this? Please drop your comments in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. Interesting times it is as we get ready and we count down to the end of this administration to welcome a new change in Nigeria that will give up hope and that will make our beloved country Nigeria great again. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, share and subscribe to our channel. We'll see you in the next news. Bye for now.